What's good YouTube? It's your boy Big Mike back again with another video. Today we're going to be playing some NHL 19 that is and we're going to be playing the Dallas Stars because you know I have this weird theory that whenever I play a game and it's happening in the future so such as right now when the Chicago Blackhawks go against the Dallas Stars sometimes whenever I you know, play as Blackhawks, because you know, go Blackhawks. <laughs> I just have this weird theory that when I win as the Blackhawks against any other team, sometimes that game will be the end result of the actual game in real life, such as tomorrow. And either the score might even match as well, or just the overall concept of this team beat this team on the game and in real life. That same team that I beat on the game also won in real life as well. So, just a few games to play, you know. So yeah, let's get to it. Playing the Dallas Stars. It's gonna be, in real life, it's gonna be the Chicago Blackhawks at the Dallas Stars. So just to make that match, I'm going to be playing as the Chicago Blackhawks at the Dallas Stars Stadium. So let's go. University of Maine Black Bear, while with the Tampa Bay Lightning, set franchise records for career games played, wins, and shutouts. Corey Crawford, born on New Year's Eve 1984, drafted by the Blackhawks over a decade and a half ago. I think they feel pretty good about the choice. Two Stanley Cups for him. Kane's a starter here. That means he is expected to set the tempo. Just underway with Eddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro. I'm Mike Emmer. Let's go down near the ice for Ray. The Stars are not a cycle team. They get the puck out wide. They attack off the rush. And that's where most of their chances come from. Face-off win, and now what will they do with it? Pass attempt to Radulo. Brings it in for an attack. What a ripper! Deflected off the blocker. From the outside. Just couldn't find the target. That's what I would call a great A scoring chance, but the shot just missed the target. Outstanding body contact. Oh, you gotta love that early hit, Doc. You get to the rink, you want to set a tone for your team if you can, and an early hit is one way to do it. Chicago starting back in the defensive zone. Face-off upcoming, offside. I uh, used the skating ability to get into position to deliver that crunching hit. Clean, that is the way you hit. The Stars got that face-off win, now what? And the pickup. Can start the attack going in the zone. Shoots! He got a piece of that one. The shooter thought he had a chance, but the goaltender robs him. What a stop. Routine stop for the goaltender. The shooter's gonna have to do a much better job challenging him. We're just under five minutes have passed. Both teams are still looking for their first strike. Chicago's got another win. Shoot, may not have intended it, but it hit him. Got it in his own end. Pitching it to Strome. Gains that offensive line. Snapped out of the air. He hangs on and gets the whistle. Chicago's got that face-off win. Let's it go. Off the mark. He doesn't need to be that fine with the shot from that area on the ice. Have to get it on the net. Crosses that line. A one-timer. Save. 
Got that pass near the blue line and now looks ahead. Sends a howitzer. Shakes right through. Wonderful save. Pollock's got it on his stick, trying to get it out of there. The Stars with a neutral zone possession along the wing. Back in his defensive end to get it. That is up close and personal. What a great hit. In the open ice, you're really sending a jolt if you catch somebody like that. Brings a shot. That shot came from nowhere. That great save was all positioning. What do you think made the greatest difference in Corey Crawford's game, going from a career minor leaguer, it looked like, to a regular NHLer and a Stanley Cup champion? Opportunity is the one thing that comes to mind. He really never got an opportunity prior to becoming the number one goaltender. The Hawks with a face-off win. Gotten quickly back. Let's it go. Save there. Carries it on in from center. Fires a shot. The lane was jammed and it hit somebody. Shoots one. Dallas in their own end has control of the puck. Up to the point. Fires. He was standing in the lane and got some of it. Gathered up again by Jason Spezza. On to Spezza. A shot grabbed. Not a lot of space there, but he makes the save. Great effort from the goalie. Strong wrister. Good work there in goal. Dallas leaves its own end. Has it back deep. Takes it up near the boards. Somebody got in or he won't avoid something for doing that. Whoa, now in the code, that means there might be something going on here. At least one guy's hot. This is not the first time we've seen this in this game. Face-off win may not seem important in that territory, but they have possession. Back to the point. He wore that puck on a hard shot. Shoots one. Hits the post. The Stars are driving it from the wing. It's dumped in. Nearing the 20th minute of this period. Takes it in from the neutral zone. Puck ricocheted off the screen. Important interception there. Using the point, he's got it. Tripped up on the play, and there will be a penalty. Chicago's been assessed a minor penalty. Two minutes, and the call is tripping. Now this is a tough call. He was trying to play the puck, but he tripped up the attacking player. Chicago Clean win on the draw. Two minutes for the penalty. Nineteen minutes. Period number one has been completed. Neither team got scoring. Some chances. No success. Stay more than stylish in the ring with our specially priced item tonight. Our game team starts. Chicago still in this thanks to their goaltender and saves like this one. More in a moment. We have 20 minutes down. We have lots of time still to go. What are your thoughts so far, Edzo? Both goaltenders, Doc, were very good in that first period. Let's go inside the locker room. Let's go inside the coach's office. What might he be telling his players? First off, they got to hit the net with the opportunities they get, and they have to get more people to the front of the net. Slid to Klingberg. Good place to shoot from. Rattled deep to Radulo. A shot. Oh, my. Puck controlled now by the defense. 
And he gets it back. Swept away. Pressure now. Chicago's got it in their own end, hoping for center. Skill play by Anisimov. He shot him right down. And the whistle signals an offside. Anisimov's eyes were as big as saucers. He sees the opponent with his head down, and he steps up for a huge hit. The Hawks control from the neutral zone. He regathered it. Shoots one. Score! A shorthanded goal. This team has always been aggressive on the penalty kill, mostly in the defensive zone. But they get a chance up the ice, and they cash in. The Blackhawks have broken the tie, and we're still in the second period. Much uncertainty about which way this game is going to go. The Stars with a center ice face-off win. The Hawks killed it off. Full strength now. Great save. Gets a little drop off from the goalie here. Gains the blue line. That puck hit him on the way to the net. It remains in the zone. Perfect wrister. Solid glove save. Out at the blue line. Gotta clear it. Goes back deep for it. A collision. I wonder if that hit will change the momentum of this game. They continue to work away. Back on his stick. Chip to Dickinson. Shoots. Oh, terrific save on a great chance. The shooter shaking his head. Great save. Snaps one. Great glove save. Goalies have to make a half a dozen great stops in a win. This is one on a beautiful move, but there is nowhere for the puck to go. The Hawks get the draw. Puts one on. Save. And the referee's whistle has stopped play. Just a tad under eight minutes have gone by. The Blackhawks lead 1-0. Solid clean win. The Stars through the neutral zone controlling the play. Shoots one. Save! Chicago's back in its own end trying to work forward. Fires. At least he protected his goaltender. The stick can break up a play, and it just did. He knifed it away. Chicago's waiting to get things organized in the defensive zone. Good, solid defensive play with the stick. Is able to move on in. He chipped that one off the boards and ahead. Oh, broke it up. He's pinned and held at the boards. Quick wrister. Oh, what a glove he's got there. As soon as the goaltender reads the release of the shot, he drops to the butterfly and makes a really easy stop. The Blackhawks win it. Solid work there by Jamie Benn. 
leads that charge into the zone. Sagan's tripped and a penalty should be coming. The Blackhawks are boxed on a tripping line. Oh, this is clearly a tripping call. He made no attempt to play the puck and took the legs out from the attacking player. The Stars get another power play chance here. Let's see what happens this time. This power play needs an adjustment. I'm sure the coach has talked to the players about it. There's not much new to a power play. It works the same way all the time. You get a good zone entry, you get the puck to the point, you shoot it, you move the penalty killers around. Let's see if they can do it this time. Way back in his own end, it's taken by Bishop. And decides to just cover it out and get the whistle. Crawford's butterfly positioning is perfect here. He's going to make that save all day. Good face-off win. Shoots just over the top. You have to hit the net in that area. Back and forth they go between the points. May not have been intentional, but he got it anyway. Gathered up again by Sagan. And we have offside called here. Well, it looks like the shooter's just trying to get this puck on net. Routine stop for the goaltender, not much challenge. The Blackhawks with a win at center. Skates it into the zone. Nice play with the stick. Nothing more will come. Good recovery. I'm not sure how he found this puck in behind him with his glove. That puck changes direction. It becomes a really difficult stop for the goaltender to make. Win it. Bodied off. Got that one ahead at center ice. It'll come free, but not without a lot of work. The Blackhawks continue on in the defensive zone. Terrific make out. No! Challenge the goalie, hit the net. Man, that bugs me. And he's tripped, and there'll be a penalty. Chicago's only going to get two minutes on this call, but it was tripping. This power play has to find a way to get more people to the net. Eddie, I'm with you on that. Power play beginning. Chicago penalty the Stars prevailing on the faceoff. Two minutes for tripping. Hammers one. Wonderful chance to score, but no. Oh, he was lucky to make that stop off that screenshot. In the second period. Into the last minute of the second period. Waffle boarded. Terrific determination by Dan. And now the whistle signals stoppage of play and will get the penalty. The Blackhawks get a two minute penalty for tripping. He's got great stick positioning. Stick is on the ice, but unfortunately takes the skates out from under him. Every game presents a fork in the road opportunity, and this is it. It's a long five on three power play, and it begins now. Sagan's tripped up. That should be a penalty. Kruger's headed to the penalty box, a liner for tripping. I'm going to give credit to the puck carrier here. He kept his legs moving, he forced the back checker to reach in and take him off his feet. The Stars are presented with a great opportunity here. It's a long five-on-three. One of the biggest mistakes a five-on-three power play makes is they're looking for the perfect shot. The more you shoot it, the more you move the penalty killers around and you start to tire them out. The stick. Oh, look at this. He's alone. Can they catch him? Score! Not much time left, but enough for that.
really like the way that they were able to work the puck on this power play. They get one to go when a power play goal has now tied this game. Klingberg's goal has tied this game. Intermission is coming up. The Stars with a clean win on the draw. Pitching this one to Ben. Steps in from the neutral zone. Gathered up by Duncan Keith. Chicago's driving upwards. A superb hit. A great hockey play there. Jamie Benn's play with the puck is known throughout the league, but when he lays the body on, everybody waits up. Chicago's waiting back in their own end. Quick wrist shot. Wow, what a glove save. I don't know how much of this puck he stopped, guys, but it was just enough to keep it out of the net. Just a little under nine minutes have passed here in the third. The Stars lead by a goal. They just broke the tie moments ago. Chicago's got it. The stick broke on the shot. Moving it to Haskin. And he steps across the line. Scorches one. What a terrific save. Oh, the goalie was screened on that shot. You got to rely on your positioning to make that save. Takes a shot. And decides to just hold on and get a stoppage of play. The shooter didn't get too much on that. Not a very dangerous opportunity for the goalie to stop, but he went in the butterfly just to be sure. Won that face off. Now what? He got his glove on that one. Richie's going to the box. A player hit the ice, and the call on them is triple. This is an easy call for the official, Doc. The player made no attempt to play the puck and just tripped up the attacking player. The Hawks are activating their power play unit for the first time. It's a great opportunity for them on their first power play. Get the puck to the point, get it to the net, crowd the net for rebounds. Chewed up more time in that penalty kill by getting rid of it there. The Blackhawks in their own end setting things up. Directing that one to Stroll. With a shot. Wonderful stop. Goalie's one of the six guys on the ice. He can pass. He did that. The first part of this power play has been a disaster. They haven't been able to get into the zone at all, get set up, and get pucks to the net. Smart recovery by Coleman. Wonderful stop. Not often you're all alone in front of the goaltender from this area of the ice. Great save. Wrist shot. The Stars killed it off, and so we're back even. Taves is tripped up. That should be a penalty. Dallas is given a two-minute minor for tripping. Well, in desperation mode, all he was trying to do was sweep the puck away, but unfortunately caught the player's skates. The Hawks power play gets another chance to operate. Hasn't been effective yet. They've been on the power play before. It's not been very effective, but they get another one handed to them here. Gains the zone and looks over his options. Terrific save. And he puts the glove on it and stops playing. Bishop's made a textbook stop here. He's in good shape positionally. He makes the save, and he makes it look really easy. Under six minutes remaining in the period. So this game has gone from being dead even 
to a leader. Puck drop, face off one, and the winger stepped right in. That puck's into the bench, and we'll have another face off. Nice face off work. Dallas with possession in the defensive zone. Cleared it out of there. Oh, that's a smart play. Just chip it out. Fires. Got that in the trapper. Puck covered. Whistle blown. The game is tied, and we'll see who can get the upper hand in the next few minutes. They've won the faceoff. Looking to Lindell. Brandon Saad, assisted by number two, Duncan Keith. Puck is thrown to Murphy. Good work with the stick. The Blackhawks continue on at center. Looks ahead to start something. Last minute of play. Skates up the center zone wing. Less than a minute to go. Good luck to us all. Stroms carrying it through center. Shoots one. Got it all. A whistle and a rest. Goalies have to make a half a dozen great stops in a win. This is one on a beautiful move, but there is nowhere for the puck to go. You couldn't have a bigger face-off win than that one. Snapping a pass to Como. He's got it. Steps across that line. Save there. Glides along the line. Took that wrist shot. Wonderful save with the glove. With a wrister. Great glove save, and he keeps it. 15 seconds to go. Has it in his own end. Murphy's got this one between the blue lines. Propelled to Haskin. Cut that off between the blue ones. The game is knotted up as we're headed to overtime. Look for our food donation boxes located throughout the Chicago's park. goal has forced the overtime period. Take a look at it one more time. Who will get the next one? We'll find out when overtime begins in a moment. Sudden death overtime has started. If no one scores here, we'll go to a shootout. Shoots! What a save! Seems like he was in too tight on the goaltender. Trying to go to Kane. Gains the zone. He moves that one ahead through center. Impressive effort there. Could it be? That shot hit a man. Gathered up again by Taves. Rister, score! Game over, overtime winning goal. A wild finish that concludes in overtime. It's not how hard you shoot it, but it's the release that counts, and he snaps it home. Bishop's out of position here. He's got to go back against the green to try and make the glove save. It's just not enough, despite his efforts. Solid performances all around in a terrific hockey game. We hope you liked it. We'll all look forward to next time. Good night from all of us.